My name is Boone, and welcome to Keeping It 100. On today's show, we'll be talking about the do's and don'ts of swag and the Thorough High School prom. My guests today are Big C and Shannon. Lee. How you do? So, I would like to start the discussion off with this question. How would you define the term swag? Well, see, swag is the style and the confidence you have when you come to school. And it doesn't even have to be school. It's out in the public, period. Your appearance, your attitude when you come out of your house. So if, for instance, I were to have good swag when I was in school, but not when I was just out in public, that would not be good swag. No swag. Yes, that, no, that, was, that is not good swag. So... What are your views on swag, BC? Well, I say swag is how you present yourself. I mean, you can't come out the house with just anything on the rags. You have to have exactly everything clean, nothing dirty. Okay, so is swag more into the direction where you were talking about how good something looks or the price tag? Explain that to me. Well, it, it goes half and half. Half and half. You know. I mean, if you have no job, I mean. So, yeah, I understand what you're saying. So now I have three instances where I would like to ask you whether or not they would be good swag or bad swag. If a person has on a polo shirt, some true religion jeans, and some felines on, <laughs> is that good swag? No, sir, there is no, not. Sir. No, sir. You see, what messes it up is the felines. Felines, that's a like no, to, no. But the polo shirt, is good swag, am yes. I correct? Yes, yes, sir. The true religion jeans is good swag. Yes, that's a yes, plus. Sir. So why would the feline boots <laughs> make the outfit? Sir, you, have, you caught me off guard there with that question. <laughs> you see, feline boots, feline boots, they're just not just the style. Okay. And we just don't see anybody wearing those anymore. <laughs> no one likes to wear them. And, you know, oh, man. it shouldn't be worn in public. Okay, that bro. was the first. That was the first. Caught me off guard when you said I, that. Oh my I god! I brought on a little humor into the show. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so we're, it's more friendly now, so we can talk freely. So okay. What about if a girl comes and she has on some lot twenty nine G? A rock and wear coat <laughs> and some coat shoes. Well, see, sir. See, lot twenty nine is not really style. See, those are for people. Well, I'm not going to get into all that because you never know what's in people's pockets. Yeah. Yes. But some things you just don't wear. See, Maybe. we take that into consideration now. We can see if you didn't have much money. We wouldn't really get on get on you too bad, but you had lots of money, still come to school. Okay. Bombed, you know. So, <laughs> he's cracking a joke. So, cracking now I'm going to um, ask my final instance. What if you come to school with some polo boots, <laughs> <laughs> some Paris jeans, and a shirt that nobody knows <laughs> is make. Yes, you saying like if a shirt like this has no icon on it, <laughs> no alligator, no polo man. <laughs> How would you make good sweat or bad sweat? Um, Sir, I would have to walk away from them because I would just get scared because no name brand around me makes me start to itch. Yes. Okay. I, I just can't deal with that, sir. Okay. Now I would like to move the discussion towards the Thera High School prom. Yes. So you you attended the Thera High School yes, prom. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. I, attended. I, I myself attended the Thera High School prom. So how would you guys say it went? How did it go? I think it went exceptionally well. Yes, sir. Uh, it was pretty, pretty great. Pretty well great. put nice together. Music. Well you organized. You did a very good job. Music. Yes. So at this point, I would like to put an end to the show by saying this is keeping it 100. Tune in next week because we'll be talking about ducks and we'll be defining the term duck season. And we'll have a live duck on the stage. I would like to thank my guests Big C and Shannon Williams. Don't forget to tune in next week. This is Boom.